Hello everyone, my name is Neharika Shukla and I'm a research scholar at CSIR and I am working on understanding the evolution of monsoon. So what is monsoon? Monsoon is the seasonal reversal of wind direction and the Indian monsoon system has two branches. During the summer season, there is strong insulation which heats up land area faster in the water. Therefore, low pressure area develops over the land and the wind starts to blow from the ocean towards the land. That is from the southwest direction. Therefore, it is known as the southwest monsoon and the exact opposite happens during the winter season which is known as the northeast monsoon. This monsoon system is highly affected by the ongoing climate change and it affects us because uh, in India, 42% of the employment is agriculture dependent and 55%, that is majority of the crop yield is rain dependent. And as we know, monsoon brings rain, therefore it affects us. We need to understand how the monsoon will behave in the future by studying how it has been behaving in the past and it comes under the paleoclimate reconstruction studies. So how do we understand the past. We take samples from different archives. Archives are places that preserve environmental signatures from the past. And in my study, I'm using marine sediment archive. From So from the seafloor sample, we isolate this uh, animal living in the water, which is known as the foraminifera. It has an exoskeleton or an outer skeleton, which is called a test, which it makes up of calcium carbonate. And it derives this CaCO3 from the ocean water column. Now we analyze the oxygen in uh, its shell. Oxygen has two stable isotopes. Isotopes are substances of the same element which have different mass. So uh, oxygen has a lighter isotope 16O and a heavier isotope 18O and their relative ratio varies depending upon different environmental factors. For example, when there is more heating of the atmosphere, there will be more evaporation and it is easier for the sea water to carry the lighter element into the clouds and thus with more heating the water will be enriched in 18O. So when this organism makes its shell it will have higher 18O values. So the hypothesis is that high carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere will lead to warming which will again lead to stronger monsoon. So to analyze these isotopes, we use a machine called isotope ratio mass spectrometer. And uh, this is the proposed study area, which is a representation of the equatorial Indian Ocean. Uh, through my study, I'll be able to understand how the monsoon has been behaving in the past and then correlate it with the varying carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere. I'll leave you with the thought that nature does not need us to thrive. We need nature to sustain our life. Thank you.